Got him. What? On the fall. Is a two and a half pounder right there. That's a two and a half. That's a nice looking fish. What is up ladies, gentlemen, and fishermen of YouTube, and welcome back to another exciting episode on the Get Em Out There's YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little different. We're gonna be doing a little bit of pond management. So my buddy's pond that I've been fishing has not a lot of big bass in it. And I know a place right here that I'm right at that has a decent size amount of bass. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a couple of these and we're gonna move them over into my buddy's pond. So we're gonna do a little bit of pond management. Um, remember, if you guys do enjoy videos like this, make sure to leave this video a like. It pushes more of my videos to you in the near future. And also so make sure to comment down below you know, your thoughts on the video if you guys want to see something different and then also make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the post bell notifications on to be notified of every single video that I post here on YouTube. It pushes my content out to you and it also notifies you of when I upload next on this channel. So thank you guys and let's get right into this video. Let's catch a fish and let's get in the aerator and then let's go release it into my buddy's pond. Let's get it. Alrighty guys, so we're at the spot. We're gonna use our Lose Mach 2 reel with our uh, tataki frog right now, if you guys can hear me. And we're gonna see if we can get one casting through with a frog. Really nothing? Got him. Got him. Let's go, baby. Here we go. There's one right there. Nice. He's fat, too. He's fat. That's a nice one. Let's go, baby. Yeah, guys, not a bad one. Probably about a pound, maybe. Not terrible, but we're going to put him in the... Uh, cooler kind of just let him relax and aerate and everything and then we should be in pretty good shape but yeah first one let's go alrighty guys there she is right there not a bad one pretty healthy little gut right there perfect fish to put in the pot in the private pond so yeah we're gonna keep her and release her back into the private pond where my buddy stocks his fish so yeah, not a bad one. These fish are in a very small pooled area, so it's easier to, you know, give these fish a new life, especially because there's so many overgrown things here and there's not as many over there. So this is awesome. First fish of the day. Let's go. All righty, guys. So we are going to my buddy's pond right now to stock that fish in here. Um, the fish, the pond only has like maybe eight fish in it in total, and maybe the biggest is like a pound and a half. So I kind of figured I could put in a, you know, different strain bass and put in there. And, uh, you know, hopefully it should be able to grow into a future 10-pounder. I mean, that's the that's the end goal. But uh, I wanted to catch two. We missed the one on the wacky rig, and then we caught the second one on that uh, 
on that frog, which is really lucky. I mean, he's probably like 14 inches, 13, 14 inches, but I will take it. So, uh, yeah, I will uh, catch you guys when we are at the pond to stock him back in. Alrighty, guys, so we're at my buddy's place right now. So, we're going to take the fish. I'm going to go up to the pond. We're going to release it there, and hopefully it should have a good life. And hopefully it will be a future 10-pounder. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this done. So, see you there. Alrighty guys, so we have the fish in the bucket right now. We're gonna release her back. I'm gonna pull her out again, show her to you one more time, and then we're gonna have, go ahead and release her back into the water. And then she's gonna be part of the pond. So now we're gonna have 10 fish here in here officially. This one probably being one of the third biggest ones. So I'll pull her out for you. Oh, she's a feisty one. She's a feisty one if you guys can't see. But yeah, beautiful little colors on her. She's very feisty, and I think that's what this pond needs, is they need frog fish. Because there are frogs in this pond, and they're not getting eaten enough. So she's gonna be, you know, he or she, whichever it is, fe male, female, she's really feisty. So she's gonna be really good for this pond. But yeah, she's really feisty. Really, really, really feisty. So, all right, and we're gonna release her back, so let's go. Alrighty, girl. One little last breather in here. About 20 seconds, and then we'll get you, okay? Aerate you a little bit. Okay. Alrighty, girl. Thank you. We're gonna see you later now. We'll see you later. See you later. Go ahead. Whenever you're ready. See ya. Thank you. All right. And there she goes, right there. Into her new place. Let's go, baby. Let's go, guys. Let's go. All righty. So she is put into her new pond right in here. So that is awesome. First official stocked fish into the pond little search and rescue mission today we accomplished what we wanted to do we missed one caught another one on a frog top order blow up what can you do um before our, i'm not going to leave you guys hanging i'm going to see if i can catch one more fish and then uh hopefully that'll wrap up this video for you guys yep here we go Oh man, I missed him. Shit. He almost had it. He'll be he'll be hidden here all the time. So I have all this time to fish, you know? And I know which one it'll be. There's only like 10 in here, so I'll be able to catch him. It's the first time he's eaten though. Hmm. What? On the fall? Literally top water. He's gonna jump. That's a nice two pounder. He's gonna jump again. I think I got him this time. Now that right there is a two and a half pounder right there. That's a two and a half. That's a nice looking fish. The one that we lost over there is way bigger. So if this is a two and a half, that's gotta be a three. So we'll go ahead and show you her real quick and then we'll release her back. I know she's two and a half because I'm pretty sure I caught her before, 
but yeah, she's a nice fish. Alrighty guys, there she is. Beautiful little two and a half pounder. I can tell that she's two and a half, but you look at the mouth on her right there. Look at that. That is great. Awesome looking little fish, probably 16 inches maybe. But yeah, she's very healthy. And I lost a three pounder over there, but I will take the two and a half. And they're in here to stay, so I'll be able to catch them whenever I want to. So another one on the private pond. Let's get it, baby. Fish bump. Boop. We release her back. Alrighty, girl. Thank you so much for biting again. We'll see you later. Thank you, big girl. And we'll see you later. Thanks. See ya. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is how we do it. And yeah, I mean, other than that, relatively, really, really good day. I cannot complain about today. We caught a fish that we haven't really caught before. Was able to bring her to the pond. And yeah, um, was able to land that two and a half. Lost that three, but it's still okay because I will, I will make up for it. I'll be able to catch her again, and next time I will have the scale on me. It's just one of those things that I did not have on my scale on me. So, uh, yeah, but there are decent-sized fish in this little pond right here that my buddy lives on. So, you know, I'll be able to come down here whenever I want and fish, and it's good to know that there are a couple of giants in here. You know, a couple of twos, a couple of threes. I mean, I know that they're not huge, but they definitely make a difference than the regular single dinks and the ones, two pounders and stuff like that. So that makes me kind of happy knowing that the pond is doing very well. And now we just added another one to it. So now there could be more than 10 fish in here. I've only caught maybe 10 in, a, in, in an actual sitting, but I think I've caught her already once. But yeah, um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and Talk to you guys on the big camera. And that is going to be it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video all the way through. If you did watch until the end, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all the support and everything on this channel. And it keeps me doing content just like this just for you guys and making content like this and coming up with new ideas for videos and all that type of stuff. Remember, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave this video a like. It lets me know that you like seeing these fishing videos like this. And it also pushes out my content to you. Um, if you guys do want to hit a, uh, drop a comment on what your thoughts on the video are, I'd love to know. And also make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the post bell notifications on. Be notified of every single video that I post here on YouTube. As well as check out my merch site. If you guys like my merch or you guys, if you guys like my videos and stuff like that, any type of support on my merch shop and everything, I have a 10% off coupon. Get 10 for 10% off all merchandise and everything sales on my Teespring. Remember, if you guys do want to show support, that's the best way to show me support. It helps with getting funds for the new videos and everything and putting out new content you guys haven't seen before on the channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, you guys don't have to do that if you don't want to. As long as you guys are watching here, I appreciate it so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you all on the next fishing adventure. Remember, fishing out on the water, stay safe, have fun, and go get them.